Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Did you know you are surrounded by an invisible reality? My guest says every believer, that's you, can see into the invisible realm. Uh, this is what the Bible calls a seer. Want to learn how? Next on It's Supernatural. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. I, I'm here with Jamie Galloway, and uh, Jamie told me something that I, it's like music to my ears. The gifts upon that God has within you are increasing. Tell me about the, you just had a family vacation. What happened? Oh man. So, you know, in the middle of transition, it's one of the most vulnerable moments in your life. So many people go through transition and they don't realize that transition is actually the assignment and that God is there with them. We were transitioning, moving our family from South Carolina to Nashville, Tennessee. And in between, I wanted to break it up. We went down to Orlando. <laughs> we went to Disney World. And after a day of Disney, I'm ready to go to the pool. And so we're at the pool. I'm soaking in the rays. My kids are good. I've got my son there. He was about four. And he's, I, we, he didn't swim. He didn't know how to swim yet. Mm -hmm. So we basically duct taped the floaties around him, you know. And, uh, <laughs> but my daughter, who's like a little mermaid, she can swim anytime, anywhere. And I'm laying out, and I hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. He speaks to me. He says, son, I want you to know that I'm going to be doing miracles in this transition. And I'm thinking, yes. Amen. And I go, yeah, next weekend, right? I've got a meeting next weekend. And I'm thinking this in my head while he's, he's coaching me. He's telling me this. All of a sudden, my wife comes over. She says, get up. What? I said, what? She says, there is a boy on the other side of the pool that's been found drowned. Oh, no. I was shocked. I got up immediately. I didn't know what to do. I grabbed my father-in-law and we ran all the way across to the other side of the resort pool. This is a massive facility. And so I'm watching. They had just pulled, the, pulled this boy out, a four-year-old boy that they just found floating at the bottom of the lazy river. And I'm watching as they're trying to revive him and do every form of CPR that they know how to do. And there's people screaming, crying, his mother in pain, just crying in agony. It's distress. It is terror. And I'm standing just a little bit of a distance away, and I'm watching this praying, going, do something, God, do something. Is he totally unconscious? He's unconscious. They can't get him awake. And his mother is screaming over him, saying, get up, get up, breathe, breathe. And so... By now, the ambulance has arrived, and we're talking about 15, maybe 20 minutes later. I mean, it's a very serious situation. And they put him on the gurney, they strap him down, and they haul him off, they lift him up, and they're marching him to the ambulance. And this march to the ambulance was like a funeral procession. I mean, it was thick, and the only thing that is going on in my mind Sid, is the moment when Jesus arrives on the scene where the widow is burying her only son. And I'm watching this, recalling this in my mind. And I'm saying in my heart, do something, God, do something. And my wife comes over, she looks at me, she, I, I said, I said, I don't know what to do. And she gives me that look. It's that look like, you're a minister, you know, and... <laughs> Do something. And you I'm, proclaim miracles yes. all over the place. And, and, and I go, do something, God, do something. And the Holy Spirit speaks to me and says, you do something. I ran over to the mother. 
I say, excuse me. She says, yes. I say, I'm a healing minister. And I want to pray with you. And your son is going to get up. He is going to live. Can we pray? She said, yes, please. And she's screaming, my only boy, my only boy, my only boy. And there's a crowd all around watching. The crowd has formed around watching this. And I grab the mother's hand. I say, what's your son's name? She says, Adam. And I grab her hand and we begin to pray. And I just lifted up my voice. I've never done this before, but I lifted up my voice and I said, Adam, I call your spirit back into your body. I speak life over you. You will live and not die. You will live a long life. And I begin to prophesy his destiny. I prophesy his future. And I say, you will run. You'll be a runner. You'll be an athlete and you'll have full brain function. And as I'm prophesying this, all of a sudden, the EMT jumps out of the ambulance and he, he, he runs over to the mother. He says, the boy is awake. He's awake. <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to be. That's normal. Now, while we're praying, Sid, people are praying that never have prayed before. I mean, maybe some that haven't prayed in a while. And one guy, I remember him specifically, he's praying. And the only prayer he knew to pray was angels, angels, angels. 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 <laughs> and I'm sitting there in agreement. Yes, send your angels, God. And by now, I'm ministering to the mother. And so they haul the boy off. I've got my son in my one arm. I've got my daughter in my other arm. And we we all together, the whole pool has now uh, walking to the cars because no one could go swimming. They evacuated the pool. And when we strap our kids in, I turn around. I come back to my door on the driver's side, my wife walking to her door on the passenger side. And I look up. And when I look up, I see a man standing there. He's looking at me like he's staring. And he says, hi, Jamie. And I said, hi. hi. Did you know this man? No, I didn't know this man. OK. I said, hi. And he goes, is the boy OK? okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How did he know your name? That's what I said. <laughs> I didn't. I look at, I go, yes, yeah. the boy is OK. Boy is and he okay. says, good. Great. And he gets in his white van and he drives away. I look at my wife, I said, that was an angel of God. We get in the car and I'm telling you, we are struck by the awe of God. That experience, that, that experience will impact his two children for their entire life. But that wasn't even the end. No, we get back to the pool. My wife takes the kids to the pool a couple days later and she notices this man. It was the same man praying angels, angels, angels. And she looks at him and she says, I know I you. Know you. He says, I'm the uncle of the boy that drowned. She said, oh my gosh, is, is he, he okay? okay? Said he's totally fully, totally okay. fully alive. He's, he's totally okay. In fact, he's right here. He's right here at the pool. <laughs> She said, what? Why is he swimming? swimming. And the uncle says, he has he no, has no recollection, recollection of him drowning. The only thing he can remember is that he believes he was in a place where he could breathe underwater. And I knew when I heard that, that he was in the spirit with the Lord. Well, okay, Jamie. What is your definition of a seer? I see the word in the Old Testament a lot. What is a seer? A seer is one who sees the unseen and they see what is hidden in plain sight. They're able to see from a lens that heaven has applied, both in the supernatural and the natural. And there are natural occurring events all around us that really mirror what God is doing in the supernatural. And, and most people miss it. Many miss it. And the reason why they miss it is they do not know what they're looking for. They need to be trained. You have walked as a seer and now you reveal secrets of the seer that shouldn't have been secrets to believers, but they are. For instance, heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. That is a massive key. Because here's the, th here's the deal, Sid. We've been praying for years. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is a great prayer. It's a prayer we're told to pray from Jesus. But what happens when heaven is touching earth? Seers are able to identify where heaven already is 
already is happening in their life, in their family. And they're not looking at the lack, they're looking at the abundance. Yeah, you know what? I, I, I'm talking to someone right now, and you're saying, God, where are you? You don't know that the heaven is coming on earth all around you, and you don't even see it. Please listen to what Jamie is saying. Is this really and truly, really and truly, Jamie, for every believer? Sid, I've done the research, and I cannot find where it's an exclusive thing. It's for every believer. It says the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. And Jesus came with a new message and he said, blessed are your ears for the hear and blessed are your eyes for they see. He didn't say it's only for the elite. It's only for that person up on the stage. It's for everyone in every situation. Is this invisible reality, as you put it, happening all the time around us? I mean... I believe we are surrounded with so much heavenly activity that if the veil was fully lifted, if we saw as, as Father God, as Jesus sees, as Holy Spirit sees, we would be so overwhelmed. But that is why he gives it to us in part. We see in part, we know in part, and that part is more than enough. Now, you think this story about the boy that was drowning <laughs> and what happened and the angel is something. I bet you've never heard of this. I bet you've never heard of an angel skiing. We'll be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube, Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, Jamie, most people think of angels perhaps flying, but no one thinks of an angel skiing. Tell me that story. Okay, I was eight years old, and my father, who's a daredevil, he was, I'm going to do something crazy. I want to take you down a black diamond run. And these black diamond runs, we're talking about you're falling. And it's... That's worse than a roller coaster. It's worse than a roller coaster. <laughs> but I had just got out of ski school. <laughs> and he says, I think you're ready. <laughs> and so we're going down, and I've got this new coach. And it's just this, this big, you know, full of down, big, heavy winter right. coat. And so he says, all right, hop on the ski. So we get down, we're on the slope. And as about 30 seconds down the slope, it's patches of ice everywhere. And we hit a sheet of ice. I fell back. But when I fell back, my ski stayed stuck to the ice. And I was on my back, unable to pull myself up. And so while my skis are still on the ice, f going right down that black diamond, I am picking up miles per hour that my father cannot catch me. And as I'm going faster and faster, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he says, this man, this skier, whoever this is, takes off down the mountain and skis, catches up to me, catches me, props me up, puts me on my two skis upright, and then skis off. He didn't say anything? He didn't say anything. And there, my dad, who knows what he's doing with ski, he says, that is impossible. That cannot be. And <laughs> my father says, that was an angel. Now, you have to understand, I had picked up so much speed that the decal on the back of my coat was completely stripped off. When it hit the ice, it picked up maximum speed and burned the back of my jacket. So I had a stripe up the back of my jacket and I wore that thing. So, it, you know, just like it was a badge of honor for I the rest see, of the I, winter season. I, I could see that. I have some family I'd like to see know the Messiah. Uh, how about you, studio audience? You have family? How about you at home? Do you have family? I believe, Jamie, you could release a prayer for angels to guide these 
family members into the right place to get saved. You know, I was actually preparing for this and I had a vision. And if you're watching this, I saw angels being released to actually go out and bring those that you've been praying for, that you've been believing God to touch to the knowledge of Jesus, to the fullness of his salvation. Father, let it be. Send angels. We declare that you are good. You're the leader, you're commander of the angel armies. Send those angels right now and let those that need to hear this wonderful gospel come to Jesus. Uh, Jamie, you had a heaven touching earth moment in Brazil. Yes. Tell me about it. You know, I talk about this in the book that part of the seer is the secret of imagination. And your imagination is no longer your pretend center as a believer. We have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. And because of that, when we think something, he says, commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. So we don't have to discount those thoughts like we have been in the past. No, take every thought captive, not just the bad ones, but the good ones too. Because there are good thoughts that are God thoughts that are coming to you. And while I was down in Brazil, I'm praying for this boy and his foot there was no bone in his foot to give him the ability to stand on that foot. It was like a flag. He could have waved that thing in the air. And I, as I prayed, I began to imagine the bone forming in his foot. And I began to speak what I was imagining, declaring in the name of Jesus, bone form. Now, whether I am seeing it in the spirit, in my imagination, or I'm just believing with my imagination, I think that's up to God. I don't know the answer to that. But either way, that bone in that boy's foot regrew. I could feel it like it popped under my hand. And he stood up with the bone fully formed in his foot in that moment. When we come back, would you pray a supernatural prayer of activation so that since we all see Maybe uh, we have the right glasses so we see clearer? Absolutely. Be right back. <laughs> Call now to get Jamie Galloway's powerful book, Secrets of the Seer, and his anointed four-part audio CD teaching set, The Seer in You. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9558. Through Jamie's groundbreaking book, Secrets of the Seer, Jamie shares 10 secrets to the life of a seer. Jamie shows you how to walk in a seer lifestyle, where you'll begin to recognize the unseen world in everyday situations. Recognize seer moments when the convergence between the natural and spiritual are occurring. Discern supernatural abundance by seeing what is often hidden in plain sight. Make sense of prophetic mysteries, such as entertaining angels, sanctified imagination, and bringing the invisible realm into the visible world. World. Find out how to tap into an unprecedented level of dreams and visions. Learn how you can be a part of a new prophetic generation that God is raising up. Become one of many to whom God will reveal His mysteries and revelation. Every believer has the ability to see. Just as we can all hear God's voice, we can all see. And it's important that we see because if you can see what others don't, you'll have what others won't. Jamie's anointed four-part audio CD teaching set, The Seer in You, contains these anointed teaching sessions, unlocking the seer nature within you, accessing greater miracles through the eyes of Jesus, partnering with the angels, welcoming third heaven moments. Included in these audio CDs are anointed prayers to activate the seer anointing and to help you begin operating in the prophetic to help you fulfill your God-given purpose and calling. The secrets that Jamie has learned because of uh, the call on his life and the gifted teacher that he is, this will save you so many years. You are seeing and you don't even know that you're seeing. Don't miss out on getting Jamie Galloway's powerful book, Secrets of the Seer, and his anointed four-part audio CD teaching set, The Seer in You. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience, yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9558. Call or you can send your 
check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9558 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. What is the purpose of every seal encounter? So we have to realize the encounter is not the most important part. Just like Moses, when God draws him by the burning bush, he sees it, but he has to draw near. And every seer encounter leads us to a greater awareness of who God is and who he is to us. And just as Moses received the revelation of the great I am, when we have a seer encounter, it leads us to know where heaven is in our life and where God is, where he is, where he says, I am there. Tell me about the secret of the power of words. The secret of words is understanding that the link between what you're seeing in the supernatural and it manifesting in the natural is found in your tongue. It says in Proverbs 18, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And when I got this download, when I got this revelation, I began to, to declare this. There was a young lady in the crowd and I looked at her and I saw, I was seeing in the spirit, said, Hello, and I looked at her and I said, there's something, there's something in your, in mouth. your mouth. There's a miracle in your mouth. I can see it. There was some kind of heavenly substance forming over her mouth. Mm -hmm. And she said, what do you mean? I said, I don't know. What is it? She says, well, all I know is half my tongue is cut out. And I, I, she had cancer. And because of the cancer, they had to cut half of her tongue out. And as I prayed, we're in a, in a group setting. I prayed. She went down under the power of the Spirit. Now, when I walked away, I said this, but I knew I was saying this intentionally, and I needed to do this by faith because death and life are in the power of the tongue. I said, watch her watch get, her up, get tomorrow up tomorrow, and her tongue will be completely whole. Be completely whole. Now, yeah. I left from that meeting, and, and the next day, I get a text message from the pastor, and she says, you're not going to believe this. She says, I've known this woman for 20 years and she had half of her tongue missing and I had to see it for myself. Her tongue has been completely made whole. She woke up the next morning with the tongue fully, fully made whole in her mouth. Jamie, real quick, I want you to pray for a creative miracle. Father, I ask right now that you would release a creative substance right now to reform what is missing. I ask for heaven to invade that space and begin to materialize from the supernatural to the natural, that element, that organ, whatever it is that is missing in their body, let it come, let it manifest in the name of Jesus, I declare it. Now, I want you to do what I promised. I want you to pray to activate all of us, you at home, don't you just eat your popcorn or whatever. You participate. Activate all of us in this seer anointing. Yes. And this prayer is in my book, Secrets of the Seer. But I want to partner right now with your faith to receive supernatural encounters with heaven. I pray that the Father would open the eyes of you who are watching, that you may see. May he give you ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to understand. May you step into seer encounters with him by faith. May your dreams be filled with revelation from his heart to yours. May you receive visions of the Father's love and the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven given by his spirit. May the angelic hosts of heaven declare his goodness to you. May your eyes see his glory and may your whole body, soul, and spirit be filled with his light. In Jesus' name I ask this, amen and amen. Amen. Jamie Galloway began seeing into the unseen realm at the age of seven years old. Today, Jamie's mission is to prepare the way for a generation of highly skilled and fully engaged seers and prophets to practice a lifestyle of pursuing God's presence with eyes to see, ears to hear, and hearts that are fully engaged. Are you ready? Though many were hearing the voice of God, they were never getting the message. And I asked the Holy Spirit, what's the difference? And he said, I want you to train people to see the unseen realm. 
Call now to get Jamie Galloway's powerful book, Secrets of the Seer, and his anointed four-part audio CD teaching set, The Seer in You. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9558. Through Jamie's groundbreaking book, Secrets of the Seer, Jamie shares 10 secrets to the life of a seer. Jamie shows you how to walk in a seer lifestyle, where you'll begin to recognize the unseen world in everyday situations. Recognize seer moments when the convergence between the natural and spiritual are occurring. Discern supernatural abundance by seeing what is often hidden in plain sight. Make sense of prophetic mysteries, such as entertaining angels, sanctified imagination, and bringing the invisible realm into the visible world. Find out how to tap into an unprecedented level of dreams and visions. Learn how you can be a part of a new prophetic generation that God is raising up. Become one of many to whom God will reveal His mysteries and revelation. I am convinced that every believer has the ability to see. Just as we can all hear God's voice, we can all see the message He is trying to convey to us. And it's important that we see, because if you can see what others don't, you'll have what others won't. Jamie's anointed four-part audio CD teaching set, The Seer in You, contains these anointed teaching sessions, unlocking the seer nature within you, accessing greater miracles through the eyes of Jesus, partnering with the angels, welcoming third heaven moments. I wanna help you in these four CDs, identify where heaven already is in in your life. I talk about angels and how angels are all around you. They're not only allocated for ministers or apostles or pro they're for every believer. God's sending, delegating angels to go on assignment into your life and it's time you became aware of those messengers. Included in these audio CDs are anointed prayers to activate the seer anointing and to help you begin operating in the prophetic to help you fulfill your God-given purpose and calling. The seer secrets that Jamie has learned because of uh, the call on his life and the gifted teacher that he is. This will save you so many years. You are seeing and you don't even know that you're seeing. Don't miss out on getting Jamie Galloway's powerful book, Secrets of the Seer, and his anointed four-part audio CD teaching set, The Seer in You. This is an exclusive offer for our rich supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $39. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9558. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9558 or log on to sidroth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Did you know that one of the greatest, most transforming revelations that you can have is of Jesus' love and His passion for you? I'm Mike Bickle. Join me on It's Supernatural. What a program. I love it. As I share with you how you can live daily in the fascination and empowering of Jesus' love.